The test to determine whether love will truly surpass time and space is whether it can transform as the seasons of life pass. Through all of life's adventures and transformations, I vow that my love for you will be forever steadfast. As we enter into our marriage, I vow to honor the promises I made to you as we navigate through the many phases of our lives together. I vow to ensure that our challenges only ever be you and me versus the world. Some people talk to angels. Some people talk to themselves. I don't know who you're talking to. But everything you say makes me want you Some people run a circle Some people run forever well, I don't know where you're running to But everywhere you go makes me Kenzie, you came into my life and completely flipped it for the better. Once in my life, I finally feel like I am whole, and I never want to lose that feeling. I truly am blessed to have found you and call you my wife. Some people try to change the world. And some people just stay alive. Well, I don't know what you're living for. me one more You are a novel in a sea of magazines You make me nervous You make my heart beat You are red in a sea of black and white You are a fire You are dynamite I will always cherish our one-of-a-kind love for each other. No matter what life throws at us, I know we can handle it because we are the best team. The rest of our lives, I promise to be by your side. My heart is yours forever and always. Your husband. You are a novel in a sea of magazines. You make me nervous. You make my heart beat. You are red in a sea of black and white. Connor, there's so many sides of you, all of which are loved by everyone around you. It's humbling to have been chosen to be the woman that gets to appreciate you and what you give our world and make sure that your cup is full when you feel you have nothing more to give. You're the most giving, selfless, and patient man. So, so often I find myself wanting to be more like you and how you treat and care for those around you. What the world does not see is that you will give until you're broken. I vow to always be the person in life that you can take from. I vow to love you and cherish you through all our seasons of life. I vow to always uplift you and keep your cup full. I vow to be your very best friend until our very last days. Happy wedding day, my groom. Love, Mackenzie. There's an ancient uh, proverb and it says that if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. For most people, the first part of our lives, it seems to speed by, but then you meet somebody. You meet someone that seems to make time slow down. All of a sudden, you're not in a rush to get to the next place or that next moment. 
you find yourself completely content right where you are with the person standing in front of you right now. It's not that the speed of life has changed. It's more about your perspective of it. The best thing about life, the two people standing here have chosen to live it together. And whatever you're going through, you're going through it with that person. When life gets hard, choose to remember. Remember when you made time stand still for each other. Take yourself back to that place. When the world was spinning around, but none of that mattered because the person in front of you was looking right back into your eyes. And you know that whatever you face, you face it together. Connor, I asked Mackenzie when she knew you were the person she wanted to marry. And this was her response. I knew within the first week of us meeting. <laughs> Before we even agreed to date, we have experienced a lot of painful and difficult life moments since we've been together. And honestly, I can say that my worst day with him are still so much better and happier than any day I had before him. And Mackenzie, I also asked Connor the same question. When he knew you were the person he wanted to marry, and this was his response. I realized Kenzie was the one for me when we were about three to four months in. <laughs> I realized I couldn't wait to spend time with her again. I remember going to my parents one day and telling my dad and mom that I was 100% going to marry this man. It is my great pleasure pronounce you husband and wife. Now, Connor, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Brown. <laughs> I will spend my life 